food is the most fantastic way of connecting people. And so what we're offering here is a chance for people to, to connect, but also through food. It's a very unthreatening way of people to, um, to meet each other. The children come out, they grow their own vegetables, they learn about seasons, they learn about planting, they learn about food. And what we have always wanted to have is an, a place where the children can grow, learn about it, and then cook it. It's delicious! So we're standing in Real Kitchen Classroom, which is a brand new building that we fundraised from scratch over six years. So it was um, a car park in a school, not being used for teaching and learning. It was my idea to then put a kitchen in the middle of it so that we could complete the whole circle and we could go from plot to plate. It really supports everything we want to achieve in helping them to have a wider appetite, I suppose, um, and learn about food. Not only how important it is for their own health, but actually what they can do with it. The why is for many, many of our children, they live in very cramped conditions. They live in small flats with large families. Often the conditions in those flats are not conducive to cooking. And many of our children we know will prefer and take the option for fast food. What we're doing is we're opening up the building outside of school hours. So we can either donate the building or hire it out at weekends, holidays, after school, before school. So what we've done so far is we've had food charities hire the space for play schemes during the holidays. We've had local caterers come in to use it to cater for the local market. We, after school, we've catered for the local food bank. So through COVID, it was frustrating. We had to cancel various hires. We had to cancel the launch. But moving forward, fingers crossed, we're all guns blazing in terms of really just welcoming everyone in to use this resource. What we're short of is the resources to provide the food. If we're providing to um, food kitchens, that kind of thing, at the moment we're reliant on donations and those donations are primarily coming from staff. We can get some donations of food sometimes from larger organisations. What we really need is support of businesses to help us get off the ground. We have the buildings, so we have a lot of the, the physical equipment that we need, but what, what we lack is ongoing resource to pay for ingredients. And um, for us as well, because we're now growing quite a large range of ingredients, it's about volunteers and people to come and help actually grow the food as well, because the bigger your market garden, the more time that you need. They can get involved. We have a Real Kitchen website. Click the link and that's, an, that's information about the Real Kitchen, the garden and what we're doing and they can contact us that way.